Hey, what's going on, you guys? Synth here, and I'm bringing you another figure review. And this time, I'm bringing you Todd Mc McFarlane Toys Spawn Gunslinger Spawn. Oh my god, dude. I am so glad finally some Spawn figures from McFarlane Toys. I think that basically the symbol of the whole company. God damn it, dude. Finally, he's bringing out. It's not like he didn't bring them out, but they're actually action figure form where they actually have actual articulation. Oh my god. So glad that I pre-ordered him when it dropped from Target. Oh my god. Um, I'll put a link down below in the description to let you guys know. Uh, and see if you guys can get your own. But, oh my god, I'm so happy this dropped and I managed to get it. Well, let's bust them out and see what you got, shall we? Okay, and here he is. Oof, my god, he looks fantastic. God damn. I really hope they're a little more... Well, actually, in the lighting, it looks like it's really well done. Like, like the detail and all that stuff. Like, it almost doesn't even need black wash. It actually brings out most of the detail. But that's just with the flash and all that stuff. If there was a little more weathering on, like, the code and all that stuff, I think it would uh, show up a lot more. In my opinion, but hmm. but the hat is not removable. That's a good thing slash bad thing, I guess. Depends on how you feel about it. But since it doesn't come off, you won't lose it as easily. So that's a good thing. The design of the mask is a little different. So is the body. A lot scrawnier, of course. Oof. Man, the detail to this is just amazing. Let's see, 306 degrees at the head. Upper body. Ah. Ah, 306 degrees. Hmm. Movable. 306 degrees at the shoulder. 306 degrees at the bicep. Oof. Double jointed. Sh ah, dang. Double jointed uh, elbow, very nice, very nice. Does not move at the forearm, unfortunately, but it does have 306 degrees hand. And uh, slights, oof, very slight movability. Ah, man, these spikes really dig in. Let's see, torso or hips, 306 degrees, nice swivel motion right there. Uh, oof. 45 at the leg eh, good 90 almost good 90 right there hmm, it's not bad double jointed knee very nice I know it's like a slight discoloration right here at the knees to the, to the legs hmm it's not too bad oh nice silver motion right there hmm, nice foot A bit of a 45, but not so much. 360 degrees of the foot, of course. And toes go 90 degrees. Hmm, very nice. Oof. But the detail to this is so nice. Look at the bullets. The bullets, the gun holster, the coats. Actually looks like nice leather. Hmm. The spicks. Spickets. Very nice. God damn. Leave it to McFarlane to do hella work with detail and everything, especially to his figure. Which I'm not going to lie, this channel's starting to look like a lot more McFarlane. I've been getting a lot of McFarlane since the start of, what was it, 2020? God damn. Let's check out a few of his accessories, shall we? Since he's a character from the Old West, it'd be strange enough not to have him with a little smith iron or whatever. Either way, I'm, I'm bad with guns. Smith & Weston guns. Look at these revolvers. Oof, really well done. Detail is right there. You could almost see, like, all the skulls are on there. Or the soles and all that stuff, so that's not bad. Hmm, really well done. Details right there. Could have been nice with a little more black wash. You know, bring out some of the detail more, but not bad. And since the holsters are right there, you put them right there. Nice little slide in motion. I think that's how it goes. Or since, let's see. And it would make sense to go like that, right? And the fingers are already in the 
gun form oh, already in the gun formation so all you have to do is just slip it right in and that's it see that's it hmm, very nice very nice of course he comes with this a nice gun holster for his big one right here oh man i know the name of this weapon but i'm forgetting it but it's well done really well done again it's exquisite detail but it just it needs a little more paint to like bring out the detail i feel like i need to black wash this stuff just to bring out the good looks in it hmm and you put it in here nice little holster it's actually surprising enough it's actually got enough uh stuff to hold all the weapons instead of like losing it which is a good pose Let's see if i can ah it comes on and it goes on pretty well i thought it would be a lot more difficult than it was there we go huh damn he looks vicious Oof! so glad i got this figure god damn and uh that's really about it let's check out the box he came in shall we here we go I love how it says on top, not a toy. 14 and up, make for all toys. Get the little green smoke. Bishop for spawn. We got a spawn stand in the back right there. That's a classic thing for McFarlane to come with the stands. From record, break it in comic. Spawn, gunslinger spawn. It matches the, re the old school, what was it, comic uh, cover and or uh, classic spawn figures. On the side, we have Spawn, Spawn figure picture. On the side, we actually have the comic version of it. Spawn symbol. And on the back, 22 moving parts. Uh, spawn, Gunslinger Spawn, posing right there. And uh, yeah, that's really about it. And yeah, pretty much. Usually what I do at the end of my videos, I do a brief history of the character, where they came from and all that stuff. Of course, the Unslinger Spawn is from Spawn Comics, created by Todd McFarlane himself. Um, Gunslinger Spawn, Jeremy Winston, a hail spawn from the West, about 200 years ago, was the friend of Francis Parker, the great-grandfather of Al Simmons. His background, he first showed up in Spawn number 174 to 175, tells the story that a found in a journal, Francis Parker, who later took the name of Henry Simmons, Al Simmons' great-grandfather was a deserter who was to be lynched alongside another man, Jeremy Winston, in the town of Bain. Winston, a preacher, had been framed for murdering his family and was condemned to death. Mammon approached both men, offering them a chance for revenge against those who have wronged them, an offer which Parker refused, but Winston accepted. During the proceedings of the execution, Mammon causes a mal function that ultimately saves Parker's life. However, Winston is killed. A short time thereafter, Winston is resurrected as the gunslinger's spawn and he proceeds to slaughter every resident in town of Bane, sparing only Francis Parker, whom Mammon ordered be kept alive. The gunslinger's spawn confines Parker to a pine casket along belonging to a now deceased resident of Bane, Henry Simmons, and floats the coffin down the river to a waiting mammon who tells parker that one of his descendants will become the hell spawn that destroys the world which of course is would be house al simmons spawn that we all know and love and uh, yeah that's pretty much it well i hope you guys enjoyed the video and all that stuff if you didn't thanks for checking it out but if you did please hit that human like button down below Leave a comment on what you thought. And if you want to see more videos like this or anything else that's on my channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell when new videos come out. And I'll be catching you guys next time. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah.